Hi everyone, I would like to share a message with you or let me say a revelation or a vision. Yeah. So last night we had a prayer session by conference called prayers and we listened to the word. So after everything we closed around the level so after everything I was actually exhausted throughout the day so I went to bed around 11 20 11 30. i went to bed and i don't want to call it a dream because it actually felt so real like more real than a dream so maybe i should call it a vision or a revelation or something of that sort yeah and then there was fireworks like there was fireworks. it wasn't in the morning it wasn't at night it was like evening time it wasn't dark yeah and then there was fireworks. We all know fireworks, right? And then we know fireworks sometimes it can be used to write names or like messages in the sky. And then this time around, the fireworks wrote the end in the sky, the end. So now everybody started panicking. They were like, is it the end time? So then they all started praying in their minds, asking for forgiveness of sins. You know that kind of things. Yeah. Praying in their mind, asking for forgiveness of sins. So we were just there, and then we realized that the stars were falling, although they weren't falling from our end, but we could see from afar that the stars were falling, okay? So like people were really in a panic, like they were really in a panic. And then all of a sudden we realized that there was a moon, a moon was in the sky, it got a bit dark, and then the moon was in the sky, then all of a sudden the moon became more than one. A lot in the sky, maybe about 10 different moons in the sky, and then they started turning red. Like when the moons became many, I was like, ah. they said the moon, if it was the end time, they said the moon would be red instead of like white, or the sun would be red or something like that. So, as we were still watching, we realized that the moon actually became red. There were more than one, about 10 spread across the sky and then they started becoming red so we realized that yeah it was actually the end time so we all went to you know i told you it was like we were in an institution or something so we all went to stand on um in one of the classrooms was it a classroom or a hall yeah it was on the story building so we went to that floor and then we could see the sky clearly from that end and then we realized that there were white objects flying across the sky we looked carefully and then we realized that they were angels so now some of them started asking if rapture had already taken place or rapture is about to be taking place that kind of thing rapture had already taken place or something so everybody was in a panic the first thing that came in their mind was to pray for forgiveness so you could see they are quiet thinking you know, but they are actually praying for forgiveness you know, we were sat we were sitting down we sat down in the hall you know, we were sitting down we were many up to we were sitting down and then all of a sudden they started dragging some of us they said they were dragging us for slave trade i don't know what that means they dragged some of us, like they were dragging most of us. And then when we went there, there was a cage that people were in, they were screaming. It was a cage that people were in. And then they dragged us to to go and throw into that cage to lock up. That was when I gained my consciousness. And actually, I think this is a timely message. Most of the times you see, like when you when you get such things, it's actually a caution to you, the person. But I think it would be better to share with all of us. You know, because of our daily endeavors, going to work, going to parties, going here, here, doing this, doing that, business and all that, we tend to forget that we have a final destination, that the earth is not our destination. In our quest to, to make money, to hustle and that, we tend to forget that there is a day called the judgment day. We tend to forget that there is something called rapture. There is something called the end time. We tend to forget. So I think this is a timely caution to to draw us back, to draw our minds back. Okay. 
to actually draw our minds back. Most of us have forgotten about it. If I receive this message, I don't want to be selfish to keep it to myself. Of course, I have to, to be cautious myself here because I saw it. But then I have to share it with you as well. So I would like us to keep in mind that Judgment Day is at hand. The end time is near. It's not near, it is here. Jesus is already here. So please, let's make up our minds. We should set things straight, okay? So that we won't be caught on our way. So that on the day of accountability, we won't be found wanting, okay? So I'd like to sing this song to conclude. I'd like to sing this song to to conclude i know it's not easy but by the spirit of god even the bible makes us understand that the spirit is indeed willing but the flesh is weak so in as much as you know greed um stealing um envy jealousy lies they are all human nature but they are nature of the flesh we should go for the nature of the spirit love tolerance and and all the good things in as much as it's not easy by the spirit of god in us we can be able to do it okay so let's ask for the strength so i would like to sing a song here in accordance with today's message all of creation all of the earth make straight a highway a path for the lord Jesus is coming soon. Call back the sinner, wake up the saint. Let every nation shout of your fame. Jesus is coming soon. Like a bride waiting for a groom. We'll be a church ready for you. Every heart longing for Jesus, we sing. Like a bride waiting for a groom, we'll be a church ready for you. Every heart longing for a king, we sing. Even so, come. Lord Jesus, come. Even so, come. Lord Jesus, come. There will be justice, all will be new. Your name forever, faithful and true. Jesus is coming soon. Like a bride waiting for a groom, we'll be a church ready for you. Every heart longing for a king, we sing. Like a bride waiting for a groom. We'll be a church ready for you. Every heart longing for a king. We sing, even so come, Lord Jesus, come. Even so come, Lord Jesus, come. So we wait. We wait for you, Lord, we wait, you're coming soon, yes, we wait, we wait for you, Lord, we wait, you're coming soon. Ready for you, every heart longing for our King. We sing, 
even so come, Lord Jesus, come. Even so come, Lord Jesus, come. Hallelujah. So as the song says, we'll be a church ready for you. So are you ready? Are you ready to receive the Lord? Brethren, let us prepare our hearts. Let us prepare ourselves. Let us make ourselves ready to receive the Lord. It says, call back the sinner. Wake up the saints. Prompts anybody who has forgotten. Okay. Someone who doesn't know God, doesn't know Jesus Christ. Introduce Jesus Christ to that person. And then someone who knows Jesus Christ but has fallen, but is asleep, wake that person up. Let that person be alert for the coming of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please share this message to bless others as well. Thank you so much for watching.